All right, folks, it's Pitching Easy Idiot. We're back playing Criminal Case on Facebook, case number 22, To Die or Not to Die, and we're going to be doing the additional investigation, following up on some of our major characters. Well, Lieutenant H, you did a good, very good job, as usual. I knew you'd feel at home in this district. So the people here are quite special, right? Miss McCarthy, for example. Isn't she delightful? We used to be pretty close, you know. That was before her career took off, but we've kept a friendly relationship. Anyway, I heard she has a problem, so I'd like you to help her, for old time's sake. Wow. Because she's such a delightful per Zibit Jones, or you'll finish the week as a circulation agent. Anyway, I hear Jacob Docks left all of his possessions to the theater in his will. Some volunteers are packing them under Mrs. Littlewood's supervision. You should help her, too. She's a very nice person. Hey, Ace, do you mind if we stop on our way to talk to Desmond Galloway? I'm renovating my bedroom, you know. Come on, he could have some advice. Wow. Wow, Jones. Wow. Lieutenant Ace, Officer Jones, what a pleasure to see you again. Come in, come in. What can I do for you today? Actually, I could use some decoration for my bedroom and... Decorating? Fantastic. Here, take a look at this marvelous clock. Very stylish, isn't it? And rare, I can assure you. It was a gift from the well-known Lord Bygone from his first wife. Lord Bygone? THE Lord Bygone? You mean the leading figure of the romantic movement owned this clock? Unbelievable. How did it end up... Wait, I worked on the investigation when his grand, grand, etc. children laid a complaint against the museum claiming his estate. Isn't this a forgery? Do you have a certificate of authenticity? The certificate. I feel insulted, officer. Fine. I have probably put it somewhere around here. Feel free to search it while I take care of less distrustful customers. Well, let's see what, she, what Margaret wants. Hello, Mrs. Littlewood. We come to help you take Jacob Doc's things away from his room. How adorable of you two to take some time to help. And your timing is perfect. There has been a theft. A theft? What'd they steal? Cookies. A ruffian took all the cookies. I just bought, brought for the volunteers here. Please, officers, find who would be so evil. I wouldn't do it myself, but my lovely Astrid is sick again. Your cookies? Oh, well, I do not believe... I do believe not sharing your delicious homemade cookies with everyone is a crime. Don't worry, we'll find the thief. Ah, oh, stop flattering me, young man. You deserve a whole pie for your commitment to your community, officers. I put the cookie plate over there in this mess. I must run to the vet now. Okay, it's pretty obvious the dog ate all the cookies. What about you? Do something. Call 911. The firemen. The police. Uh, hello, Miss McCarthy? There you are. With your help, my doom shell and my precious Italian mask went missing. It was given to me by the famous Fabrico Zeffiretti himself. My career is ruined. I can't act without my mask. I wear it every day before going on stage. It's a lucky charm. I can't relax if I don't have it. Please, Lieutenant Ace, the theater world needs Sheila McCarthy. Fine. It's okay, Miss McCarthy. Lieutenant Ace and I will help you around this mask. Now please calm down while we take a look. Just kidding. Well, accidentally put points in the wrong thing. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Moved up to sixth place. Anyway, let's go back to where the clues really are. Oh, that's cute. So, crucifix. Shoot, ladybug. I don't think I ever saw a ladybug. Up here. Surveillance camera. The watch is new. Trumpet's back here somewhere. Yeah, trumpet. Rose. Fox. Broken mask. Sun. Shoe print. Apple spray. Sprays here. Apples here. Pocket watch down here.
cool. I think you found the mask Miss McCarthy is looking for. What a pity it's broken. Even shattered in pieces, it looks beautiful. Do you think you'd repair it? We will never hear the end of it if Miss McCarthy sees it in this state. Yeah, I honestly don't blame you. She's probably going to think it's crazy. some of this place. We got hand, beer, bowling pin, rabbit, plate. Oh, there you go. Bra, alien, padlock, dead leaf, light bulb, dead leaf, building, planet. Actually done really well except I selected the wrong item. This supposed to be the plate marker put our cookies on. I can still smell those delicious cookies. Ah, cookies. I'll let you examine it while I check if there's anything edible around here. No, we gotta go through one more crime scene. Donut, chandelier, key, wine glass, monkey, fishing rod, newspapers up here, surveillance camera, bat. Nest hat document. Oh, I mean certificate. Eh, same thing. Jenny. We found the certificate. Now we'll see if this clock is as unique as Desmond says. Since some certificates from Lord Bygone's case are still kept at the station, we can compare this one with them to see if the seal's legit. Ace. Let's do it. So that should just be a comparison, so I'm not going to really worry about that one. This plate, though, I'm going to worry about. Wow. it's one of the fastest times I've done that. What kind of substance did you find on the plate? Ew, that's gross. It looks like saliva. Anyway, I bet Grace will analyze the sample we found to help Miss Lilwood. Yes, of course she will. Let's examine the broken mass. Luckily, playing Jade Empire, I kind of know how some of this is supposed to work. There we go. Not bad. Well, under 30 seconds. Impressive. You've mended this mask perfectly. Nobody will ever notice it's been broken. I can hear Sheila McCarthy scream from here. Let's give her this mask back. Oh, really? Mask back already? Seems like a very easy, uh, quest. Two. There you go. Well, that wasn't the best. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Just guessing it. Well, Denise, thanks to you, we know the certificate is legit. The clot really belonged to the famous Lord Bygone. Let's go back to the Galloway shop. I owe him an apology, and I want this clock. It'll be nice, fit nicely above my bed. Well, that's nice of you, Jones. Let's go talk to this guy. Yeah. Mr. Galloway, we confirm the clock with its certificate is real. I'm sorry if I offended you earlier. Being cautious is like a professional reflex at this point. I do know how it goes in your field, but this could have been damaged my re reputation. Since you know it is authentic, how about we take a better look at this stylish clock? It really is beautiful, don't you think, Ace? Okay, then. I'm... I... Wait, is this the price? But it cost my whole salary. I, I need to think about it. As I told you, it's a unique piece of art, Lord Bygone's clock itself. It will be sold before the end of the day, I can assure you, and to someone else if you're not interested anymore. But the price is... Oh, fine, it's true, I can't miss this opportunity, I'll take it. 
Wow, Jones, you're so gullible, dude. I feel so bad for you. Alright, guys. Well, anyways, I'm going to grab some uh, stars, and I'll see you guys later. So we have saliva. Analyze the substance found on the plate, and you're going to be surprised. It is saliva, but it belongs to an animal. Is this a cat this time? I told you, they're evil. No, Jones, it isn't a cat. You're looking for a dog, and one with too much sugar in its system for its own good. You're right, Ace. It's probably Astrid. I told you that a long time ago. We have to hurry and tell Mrs. Littlewood her beloved dog is responsible for the cookie's disappearance. Yep. So what's up, Sheila? Let's talk to her first. My mask. Did you find my mask? Ah, oh, my soul won't endure such a loss. Don't worry, Miss McCarthy. We found your mask. It was broken, but Lieutenant Ace restored it and... Broken? I can't believe it. Who damaged my precious mask? This is ridiculous. But I must thank you. Lieutenant Ace, you're as talented as Samuel told me you were. I remember he was good with his hands, too. Whoa. Please give him my regards. Go uh, yeah, we'll pass along the message. Perfect. I will re sh shall return to my flawless acting forthwith. Fortwith. Here, take this as a token of my gratitude. I know it will bring you luck. Harlequin vest. I will not wear that. Venetian mask. Only on special occasions. Alright, there you are, officers. Enlighten me. Who is the bandit who stole my cookies? I'm afraid you know the culprit very well. We found evidence that Astra is the cookie thief. Astrid, my cute doll, but she's on a diet. Poor sweetheart, you couldn't stand mummy baking with a half-empty stomach, right? Oh, poor lady, that's what you got stick again. Thank you, Lieutenant Ace. Let me cook something just for you. I'll bring it over to the station this evening. Thank you. Awesome, guys. And that is going to finish off case number 22. I'll see you guys all later. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.